A few guys have asked uh, how, um, how I was able to put the uh, frame, the bezel frame around the GPS from the X-Plane um, using Air Manager 3.0. As you know with Air Manager 2.0 it was just a matter of dragging the, uh, the uh, bezel over and positioning the GPS screen underneath. If you have questions on how to pop out the GPS screen and to remove the bezel, I do have a video posted called Look Mom No Bezel. And that's uh, one of my videos uh, on my channel here. You can check that out for the details. Now the solution here, as in the previous version of Air Manager, uh, there was um, each instrument was its own window, and you position those windows together to form a panel on the desktop. And if there were transparencies in the uh, windows, uh, for example, in the middle of the GPS screen, you could see what was on the desktop below that, and that's how we had that. It was transparency was built into the Java rendering that was uh, used for Air Manager prior to version 3.0. After 3.0 it used OpenGL and OpenGL requires, uh, it does not uh, provide the capability for transparency without programming it and Coran's working on that. In the meantime I needed a solution to be able to put my GPS on the screen. So what I thought is if we could run many many windows on the same screen uh, under uh, version 2.1.3 why couldn't I uh, build the bezel as three windows around the uh, GP GPS screen and then uh, fit that in with a few other panels maybe one large panel and a smaller panel under the GPS and the comm stack to hold the other instruments shouldn't be a problem because uh, the OpenGL is much much faster than the uh, Java renderer so let me show you what we've done here. I've created four windows. Actually, I created uh, the GPS frame in four pieces, if you will. Of course, the top I'll, I'll show you first. The top is across the top above the GPS, as you can see there. Uh, that is, uh, has no controls. It's just a graphic, basically. Uh, there's only one line of code. Uh, uh, you know, uh, image, add, full screen, and then that little piece of image and that's a window that's sized to fit the graphic exactly uh, so that window holds the graphic and, and that's the instrument itself. Now the next instrument if you will let's show you the left one and the left one fits right together there and you can see that has some controls on that side. And I'll show you the right the right side another panel that fits together there and then finally show you the bottom and you can see the bottom uh, completes the bezel. So now, uh, whether you use touch control or the mouse, you have access to all the controls that you would normally have. Uh, you can turn it on and off and so on. Uh, you can use all the nav buttons and they work quite well with uh, push with uh, touch control also. Uh, and then uh, you can control the pages and chapters of the different uh, nav functions. You can uh, pretty much do anything you want. Change the range from one side of sending to another. So that is the basic uh, operation. Now uh, how this works is I'll have uploaded these like generic G530 bezel right, generic G530 bezel left, top and bottom. Those will be on the store eventually so you can download those. And once you download them you're just going to have to make a new panel and as you uh, import those they'll be uh, located in the upper left corner of the uh, panel and then you'll just go to custom P window and you'll go down to uh, select custom window and then select resize window and then just click down here at the bottom and resize the window to fit uh, whatever the size in this case this right panel or this uh, center panel down here is 570 wide and 130 high so you can just uh, change those so that there's the, the, so the, the uh, instrument completely fills the window. So if you have any question about the, the dimensions of it, you can just click on the instrument itself and it'll tell you the width and the height. And then you just need to set the, the, the panel to that size. And you can see if this was in a regular panel, we might create another panel that includes everything to the left of the GPS all the way to the bottom. We could fill that with instruments. We could make another panel below the, the GPS. So it would be one, two, and then four more, six panels, and that would accomplish the uh, goal.
Of course, to reposition the GPS, um, you just grab it on the upper frame. And you, I like to bring the upper left corner in here and then grab the bottom right and uh, adjust that to fit. Now you can see that one problem is that since uh, the stay on, there's a down at the bottom of the, the uh, panel, there is a uh, function that says uh, always on top. That hasn't been enabled yet. So if you accidentally click on the window, it'll bring it to the top and it might show this white frame. So um, you just have to click. But if, as long as you don't click on the frame, that'll stay hidden. So one thing else I'd like to show you is how to resize this window. Let's say you had a com stack that was, say, 500 pixels wide over here on the right side of the screen. You wanted to resize the GPS to fit in there and put your other radios beneath it and then maybe put your other, other uh, instruments off to the left. You could do that with uh, you know, the four panels here plus a panel beneath it and a panel on the right. And then you could uh, still have the GPS as you see it here. Now, let me... Uh, show you how to resize that. It's pretty simple. Let's start with the top there. And we see the top here. Uh, I'm going to move this up. The top is um, a panel that is 820 wide. And I'm going to say resize window. And I'm going to scale that panel. And I'm going to change that 820 to 500. And click there and apply. And now you can see we've, sh we've narrowed that. Narrowed that over to uh, a smaller number. Uh, these uh, make sure these are all unlocked so they can be moved to reposition. So uh, we can position that over some place where we'd want it, let's say over there. And then we'll take the, uh, the left. In the left, you can see is uh, 125 by 566. We want to resize that, and we'll need a calculator probably to do that correctly. So let's drag a calculator over here and say, let's see, it's, we want it to be 500 wide at the end, and we want to divide that by 820, which is the current size, and we got a scaling factor of this number, eight, eight about 61 percent. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and store that number. And we'll multiply that times the width. 125 is the width. And we need about 76 wide. So we're going to scale this panel at 76 wide. And when we click here, it, it'll resize the height too. It keeps the aspect ratio. So now we have, uh, I'm going to move this a little bit here. And we'll get, a, uh, we'll get that left side approximately in the right spot. And the same thing with the uh, right. Now I just noticed that's 125, so we can go ahead and resize that easily. We know it's going to be scaled to 76 again. And we'll apply. And again, we'll grab that and reposition it approximately. We can fine tune that. And then the middle uh, bottom bezel is 570 wide. So let's get our calculator back here and say uh, 570 times the uh, stored number we had there and we get a width of 348. So let's say 348. Let's go ahead and uh, resize and scale that to 348. And you get the idea here and apply that. And then we can slide that up in here someplace. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time fine tuning the location at this point. Oops, but I will get it approximately in the right location. And, uh, and then we just take our GPS and we have to resize it. So I'm going to make it nice and small so I can get it all lined up. Oops. want to get it a little bit bigger than that and here we go we'll move it up so that the upper left corner is about lined up with that and we'll grab the bottom right and pull it down and we'll just click on the and you can see there we've got the same thing we have all the controls now they're a little small the controls are a little small to handle but uh, with the knobster if you saw my previous video you can use that touch control with the buttons is no problem and all you have to do is touch the knob you'll be able to use the knobster to set those in the pixel quality of uh, of the screen the the actual
Garmin 530 has pretty poor quality, so uh, fairly low resolution. So even at this size, probably the, even though it's much smaller than the actual unit, still the uh, actual pixels you can see is probably uh, as good or better than the actual Garmin GPS. So that's how it's done. Hope that's helpful, and uh, hopefully we'll have transparency in Windows before too long, and this will be a thing of the past. But in the meantime, I wouldn't hesitate to do if you need some transparencies to show uh, XHSI 2 or or uh, some other uh, uh, GPS or a G5, G1000 or something from uh, X-Plane, feel free to do that and just pop a, a frame around it in pieces and you can get the job done. Uh, one more thing about the uh, GPS bezels. Um, I'm going to show you just the right one for an example. But if you look at the, uh, if you select the uh, panel and uh, then select the instrument each one of the instruments has a property selected GPS unit select the GPS unit to control and you can select GPS 1 or GPS 2 and that tells the uh, the unit which GPS you want it to control for example in the Cessna that has two GPS's uh, you could select 1 and 2 now we don't have a bezel sized right for the 430 but if you had two GPS's installed you can select this now the left right and bottom have this pop-up menu to select uh, when you install the panel uh, when you install the instrument into the panel you need to select it defaults to GPS 1 but if you want to use it for GPS 2 you'll have to select that and uh, of course the top is just a graphic so it's just the left bottom and right that need to be set just wanted to, so there wasn't any confusion I wanted to cover that quickly as an afterthought thank you